Every morning, we can see sunlight shooting through the window. This natural phenomenon is due to scientific theory known as Tyndall effect. But what is Tyndall effect? In this video, we are going to conduct a simple experiment to demonstrate Tyndall effect. Here's a list of apparatus and materials used in the following experiment. Plastic bottles, a teaspoon of milk, clean water, and a laser pointer. Here we have two bottles filled with water. As you can see, the laser path is not visible. But after you add in a few drops of milk, which acts as the colloid, the path can be seen clearly in the water bottle spiked with milk, while no visible light is seen from the clear water. So our next question is, why light is deformed passing through water spiked with milk? Once again, this is due to the Tyndall effect. So now I'm going to explain how the Tyndall effect works. In the experiment, there's a plastic bottle filled with water spiked with milk. The milk particles represent the colloids. And here, we have the laser emitting light. When the light travels through the solution, some of the light will collide with the milk particles and will disperse in different directions which can be observed with the naked eye and the camera. And that is why we can see the light passing through the solution. The equation shown is used to calculate turbidity for a turbidimeter which is an equipment that will be explained next. Here are a few applications that applies to Tyndall effect. The Tyndall effect is mainly used to determine the size and the presence of colloidal particles. One of them is the turbidimeter. It measures the water pollution level in wastewater treatment and is widely used in the industries worldwide. Moving on is the smoke detector. This equipment is placed in warehouses where flammable substances are stored. In case of a fire, smoke from the fire can be detected this would then trigger the alarm and the fire can be attended to immediately.